right guys, hi! Welcome to another day of Vlogtober. I've lost track of what day it is already. <laughs> Today I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do the spooky Halloween tag. I have done this before in the past, but I thought it'd be fun to revisit it every year because some of my oh, some of my answers might change throughout the year. My cat is starving for attention, so I gotta get through this as fast as I can. Uh, it's 30 questions, so let's do this. Number one, favorite horror or Halloween themed song? Um, okay, I really, really like the song Pet Cemetery by the Ramones, and I also like Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Number two, Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Shoot, anything that wants to harm me, you know, it could be a person. You know, if they want to hurt me or kill me, th that's terrible. Yeah, I don't want to run into anything like that. Uh, <laughs> number three, have you ever played with an Ouija board? Yes, a long time ago when I was a teenager. Uh, number four. Favorite horror monster or villain? Okay, so for villain, I'm going to say Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And for monster, I'm going to say Marcus the Carcass from Fright Town, the haunted house that I used to work in. Yay! <laughs> Number five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone? I, I guess it would be uh, kind of boring, but uh, having the electricity go out and I'm sitting in the dark not knowing what to do. I know, boring. Number six, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Absolutely, as long as I wasn't by myself. I would want somebody else there to share the experience with me. Number seven, are you superstitious? Um, I guess sometimes, yeah. Not, uh, not really, but yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense. To a certain point, I, I guess. Number eight, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, but most of the time that's because I'm really, really tired and my mind's playing tricks on me and I think I see something, but I'm just tired. Uh, number, number nine, which urban legend scares you the most? Um, killer in the back seat. It's also known as high beams. Um, so here's a little bit about it. The legend involves a woman who is driving and being followed by a strange car or truck. The mysterious pursuer flashes his high beams, tailgates her, and sometimes even rams her vehicle. When she finally makes it home, she realizes that the driver was trying to warn her that there was a man, a murderer, rapist, or ex escaped mental patient hiding in her back seat. Each time the man sat up to attack her, the driver behind had used his high beams to scare the killer, in which he ducks down. That's terrifying because that could actually happen. So always check your back seat before you get in and yeah, yeah, always check all around your car for crazy stuff like that. Number 10, do you prefer do, do you prefer gore or thrillers? Thrillers. I don't like gore, blood, guts, and anything just disgusting that could potentially turn my stomach and make me sick. Mm -mm. That's why I'm not a huge fan of zombies. I just find zombies just grotesque. Number 11. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? I want to, but I'm really unsure. I'm kind of one of those seeing is believing kind of people to a certain point. So, uh, I don't know. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Number 12. Ever made a potion of any sort? No, unless, like, mixed drinks, like rum and coke, <laughs> if that counts. I don't know. I've made, um, like, soap and herbs and oils and th that's not the same thing, though. Yeah, anyway. A number 13. Do you get scared easily? Okay, I never used to, but the older I get, the more jumpy I get, so I do get scared pretty easily. I get caught off guard, and I guess it just depends on where I'm at, what I'm doing, who I'm with, you know, all that stuff. Number 14, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yes, I was young. I scared the poopy out of me, too. <laughs> Not literally, but almost. <laughs> Do you believe in demons slash the devil? I don't know. Again, it's one of those maybe a little... I honestly have no clue. Number 16. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Well, I want to be smart. Hopefully, I just spit, sorry. Hopefully I'm downstairs when it happens because it'll be a lot easier for me to get out of the house. I think first I would grab my phone. I would also grab something to protect myself. So anything that could be heavy that I could throw at the person or, or stab or whatever, something. Um, definitely do not run upstairs towards the sound. Duh, get out, get out. <laughs> that would be my first thing. Or if I couldn't get out, I would find somewhere to hide and be as quiet as I possibly could. Uh, number 17. If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? I have no idea. I can't think of any scary movie I would want to be stuck in. So I guess not so scary. Halloween Town would be ideal. I love Halloween Town. It's super cute. It's fun. It's Disney. What's not to love? Plus, I've been to the real life Halloween Town where it was filmed here in St. Helens, Oregon, and it's awesome. I think it would be also really, really amazing to meet Grandma Aggie. Oh, rest in peace, Debbie Reynolds. Dang it. <sighs> that is my favorite Halloween movie, Halloween Town. 18. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Oh, well, that's easy. I'd be Abby Shuto from NCIS. That's one of my favorite things to cosplay as, and I've done, I've done it many times. I've been her for Halloween a couple times. I like her because we have similar taste and style and music and everything. Plus, she's a forensic scientist, or, well, she was. Yeah, anyway. Ah, spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number 19. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Sure, yes. Actually, I have. Um, I just would never go by myself. I'm not a fan of going places at night by myself. I like to have somebody there with me. Mainly just to have someone to share the experience with. Um, Sky. Kitty, shh, do you mind? Goodness. <laughs> Number 20, I think. Is that where we're at? Yes. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Well, I don't want to draw attention with a lot of noise, so no guns. I don't want to get really, really close, so it would have to be maybe a bow and arrow or some kind of sword, something that's long that I could, I don't know, something like that. A flamethrower would be kind of cool, right? Uh, number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? I'm going to go with trick-or-treating because I like candy and I'm not much of a party person. I, I, I don't know, just 
the older I get, I don't do well with crowds. Uh, I'm not a big drinker. I don't mind having the one or two drinks as long as I'm somewhere comfortable, like at home where I feel safe. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not big into the party thing anymore. I was maybe 20 years ago, but not so much now. 22. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Oh, gosh. I'd probably be a little bit of all of them. Um, I would be mostly a skeptic and the smart one. I would use all my knowledge from all the movies I've seen, so I have a rough idea what to do, what not to do, and I would hope that all of that combined would make me the final girl. Sky. I apologize for my cat. She needs some attention. Number 23. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? <laughs> yes. Otherwise, my mind will play tricks on me. It will get the best of me. I will dream about what I just watched and, and uh, killer clowns will eat me. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I end up not getting a good night's sleep. That's just terrible. So yes, happy thoughts. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, 24. While watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters? The person with their eyes covered the whole time? Or the person who falls asleep? I am always yelling at them. Telling them to turn around. Don't turn around. Don't run upstairs. Don't do this. Do that. Do Ah, oh, I'm screaming at them telling them they're, they're stupid, you're crazy, just stop, you know, all that stuff. And I'm also one that covers their eyes because I don't like blood, guts. If there's any kind of stabbing and slashing, it's like, oh, no, I don't want to see that. Also, I hate needles. So if it involves a needle or snakes, I can't, I don't do snakes very well either. Uh, makes me have a panic attack. So I'm always covering my eyes and just no icky poo. <laughs> Are, oh, uh, 25. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I am the one that gets scared. I would love to be the one that scares people, but it's usually me being scared. Dang it. <laughs> you think I'd be used to it after working in a haunted house for two years in a row? But nope. Those little buggers. At Fright Town, they were sneaky. They liked to sneak up behind me and, and jump scare and freak me out because they knew they would get me every time. Oh, you guys. I'm going to miss you. miss you guys this year. Sad that it's not happening. Uh, whew, 26. Favorite scary book? Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, I love that book so much. Love the movie, too. But the book, oh, amazing. 27. How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Oh, gosh. I have no idea. I was pretty young, and I'm guessing I was way too young to be seeing the movie that I saw. I was scared of ghoulies. I did not like that little demon thing that came up out of the toilet. It made me so afraid to use the toilet. I would uh, do my thing. I'd flush the toilet and run out of the bathroom as fast as I could. My fear was that that little thing would pop up and pull me into the toilet and I would drown. Maybe that's why I'm afraid of water too. Um, so I was afraid I'd drown in the toilet. <sighs> then I could be like Moaning Martle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, ghoulies. What year did that come out? 80s, right? I, I have no idea. Oh boy. Anyway, Oh, sometimes I wouldn't flush the toilet at all. I would do my thing and just run out, and my mom would get so mad at me for not flushing. Oh, boy. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, Mom. <laughs> 28. What was your first Halloween costume? No, it wasn't a cat. <laughs> it was either Raggedy Ann or Snoopy. As a kid, those were my two biggest things that I absolutely loved. Raggedy Ann or Snoopy. I'm thinking it was Raggedy Ann, but I honestly don't know. And I keep meaning to ask my mom, 
and, and see if she has any pictures, but I always forget. Note to self, talk to your mother. 29. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? I have no idea. I don't have any plans for Halloween this year. Absolutely none. I'm probably going to be staying at home. I'm probably not going to hand out candy either. We don't get a whole lot of trick-or-treaters in this area, so uh, I'll probably just watch some Halloween movies, dress a little spooky, but no costume. I'm just going to be comfortable. And the last question, number 30. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, what would you pick? Wow, I wouldn't want any of those. I'm very happy with the pets I already have. But if you're going to force it on me, I guess I'd I would say a black cat, because out of all of those, that's the most realistic to have in a, a home. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. That is the Halloween spooky tag or whatever it's called. I have no idea. The, the spooky Halloween tag. I will leave all of these questions down in the description if you want to do this video as well. Answer the questions. Have at it. Have a good time. <laughs> leave me a comment down below if you do and I'll go check out your video. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another day of Vlogtober. Bye guys.